Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we will talk about Portugal. Portugal uh, is a country located mostly on Iberian Peninsula in southwestern Europe. It is the westernmost serving state of mainland Europe. It is bordered to the west and south by the Atlantic Ocean and to the north and east by Spain. Its territory also includes the Atlantic archipelagos of the Azores and Madeira, both autonomous regions with their own regional governments. Portugal is the oldest state on the Iberian Peninsula and one of the oldest in Europe, its territory having been constantly settled, invaded and fought over since prehistoric times. Portugal as a country was established during the Christian Reconquista uh, in 711 Anno Domini. Portugal has a very rich history, beautiful cities and awesome beaches. Let's have a closer look. The capital city of Portugal is Lisbon. Lisbon is the capital and largest city of Portugal with an estimated population of 500,000 people. The Portugal is a republic and the president is Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa. Now we will talk about people in Portugal. Portugal has a population of over 10 million people. Over 96% people are Portuguese nationality and over 80% are Roman Catholic. If you're coming to Portugal, you're probably wondering what are Portuguese like. First of all, you should know that Portuguese people are probably one of the best hosts ever. They will always try their best to make you feel at home. Having lunch or dinner in a Portuguese house means plenty of friends and relatives enjoying a chorus meal in thoughtfully decorated table. When Portuguese people receive guests, they spend hours preparing the meal. From starters to main courses and desserts, food will be plent plentiful and tasty as much as possible. They will also check if everything is okay or if you need anything several times. Talking about food, what might you eat in Portugal? For example, sopa de cachao, while tubarão is the common word for shark in Portuguese, once it reaches your table and becomes cachao. The fish is marinated in coriander, lemon and garlic before being brought to the boil and the soup is commonly eaten with bread, particularly a corn flavor type known as broa. The second dish is bacalhau. Codfish or bacalhau in Portuguese is more than simply a traditional dish, it is a national obsession. The dish even has its own nickname, the faithful friend, and is traditionally consumed on Christmas Eve in Portugal. There are hundreds of different recipes and versions of this classic, but bacalhau abraz is one of the best. A combination of onions, chips, olives, parsley, egg and of course cod. The Portuguese are people of explorers, hard-working, curious people. They can't stay still. From the age of discoveries, the Portuguese have proven to be adventurous, always looking for new ways to earn a living. They are not afraid to step out of their comfort zone when needed. In the 20th century, many Portuguese emigrated to other European countries looking for better life when the dictator Salazar was in power. Then, after the Revolucion dos Cravos, this immigration continued for other reasons. At the moment, the minimum wage is 580 euros in Portugal. The law says that the normal working period should not exceed 8 hours per day and 40 hours per week. But some days, the Portuguese have to work up to 10 hours and it sometimes happens that they don't get paid more for these extra hours of work. And what else? Of course, they love football. In Portugal, there's the Taça da Liga competition, which is extremely competitive. The three major teams are FC Porto, the SL Benfica and Sporting Lisbon. Portuguese are divided into these three football teams. Sometimes, if people don't agree, the conversations can get very heated. People love to get together and cheer for their team. 
So, we should also mention um, the most successful football player uh, nowadays, Cristiano Ronaldo. Portuguese love him. And also, uh, coach Jose Mourinho. The Portuguese language is spoken in nine other countries. For example, Brazil, Angola, Mozambique. So, it is not very common to speak Portuguese, especially in Europe. In France, some schools teach it due to the higher number of Portuguese living in the country. In Portugal, one of the main wealth sources is tourism. So, it is very important for the Portuguese to know how to speak at least one language other than Portuguese. In schools, English is mandatory for all the students. Many people also speak Spanish, French, then German, Italian and other languages. The most common names in Portugal are Joel, Miguel, Gonzalo, Tiago or Pedro and girl names Mariana, Ana, Ines or Beatriz. Now we will move on to history. Portugal has very very rich history and it's so so rich that we can't mention everything in this video. We will need a whole movie to cover uh, the, this big history. The early history of Portugal is shared with the rest of the Iberian Peninsula located in southwestern Europe. The, the name Portugal derives from the joint Roman Celtic name Portus Sail. The region was settled by pre Celts and Celts. The region of present-day Portugal was inhabited by Neanderthals and then by Homo sapiens, who roamed the borderless region of the northern Iberian Peninsula. Romans first invaded Iberian Peninsula, Peninsula uh, 219 BC. The Carthaginians, Rome's adversary in the Punic Wars, were expelled from their coastal colonies. During the last days of Julius Caesar, Almost the entire peninsula was annexed to the Roman Republic. During the Roman era, this area was called Lusitania. In the early 5th century, Germanic tribes named the Suebi and the Vandals, together with their allies, invaded the Iberian Peninsula. Today's modern-day continental Portugal, along with most of modern Spain, was part of Al-Andalus between 711 and 1249 following Umayyad Caliphate conquest of the Iberian Peninsula in 711. The East occupation lasted from some decades in the north to five centuries in the south. During the Reconquista period, Christians reconquered the Iberian Peninsula. During the Age of Discoveries, the Portugal was the leading power. For example, in 1498, Vasco da Gama reached India and brought economic prosperity to Portugal and its population of 1.7 million residents, helping to start the Portugal Renaissance. What is important? In 1500, Pedro Alvarez Cabral discovered Brazil and claimed it for Portugal. Portugal was a kingdom for a long, long time, but Political instability and economic weakness were fertile ground for chaos and unrest during Portuguese Free Republic. The last king was Manuel II of Portugal, but was eventually overthrown by the 5th October 1910 revolution. Portugal was one of only five European countries to remain neutral in World War II. From the 1940s to the 1960s, Portugal was founding member of NATO and OACD. Now we will talk about economy. The Portuguese government is heavily indebted and received a 78 billion euro bailout from the European Union and the International Monetary Fund in May 2011. Despite this, Portugal is a developed and high-income country with a GDP per capita of 77% of the EU 28th average in 2017. By the end of 2016, Portugal's GDP was over $30,000 per capita. The national currency of Portugal is Euro. 
which replaced the Portuguese Escudo and the country was one of the original member states of the Eurozone. Most industries, businesses and financial institutions are concentrated in Lisbon and Porto metropolitan areas. At the end of the video I'll mention you two facts um, that you um, probably didn't know. Wine has been one of the most noted Portuguese exports. The country is the seventh largest exporter of the product worldwide by value and also more than 28 of Portugal's energy come from renewable sources. So that's all for the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy this. Leave like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.